Hey Capricorn, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of Lada Tarot. My name is Keonti and I'm going to bring you a love reading for the month of May. Again, this is going to be for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are cross-watching for a Capricorn, it could definitely resonate from your perspective, but it is a general read and it is energy, so all messages won't resonate for every Cappy on the planet. If I get it right for you, you, you beautifully abundant devils, you, please be sure to give me the like, the comment, the subscribe, and the share. And if you guys are interested in booking me for a private reading, my email information will be provided in the description box below. All right, Capricorn, this pile is the incoming energies. This pile is what you don't see on the situation, and this pile is the outcome. I have not looked at these. We would do it together, but underneath the deck, I already see some things. I have individual individuality. I have the two of Michael, which is the two of swords. I have the page of wands and change, which is the chariot. The two of swords is all about making a decision, right? It literally says it will be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem, find a compromise. There's something here, someone, and I'm going to say it's you, Capricorn, but it may not be you. It could be an energy coming towards you. Just put yourself where you go in a scenario. Someone is having to make a decision for themselves, okay? There's an individual here that has a decision to make, and it has something to do about going in a new direction. A child could be involved, a younger fire sign, a fire sign, period, or it's just a, a new beginning here. Someone has to make a decision about this. It could definitely be traveling, change, uh, a moving move or traveling it could be a decision about a car or a cancerian here but see under there is the child yeah someone is having to make a decision about some sort of new beginning right it's an individual so this could be you or a situation coming towards you this is someone that's individually it's not something when i say individual it's not like something that's being discussed with a lot of people or or things like this this is something that someone individually a decision that someone has to make for themselves that's what it is right a decision that you have to make for for yourself someone here and it's about a new direction or a new beginning it could literally be be about traveling or moving or changing something here too if a child isn't involved here okay let's see what the incoming energies are for you cappies invisible See, I feel like someone isn't expressing or discussing or someone may be trying to not see something that they're seeing here, right? Like, nah, I don't want this to be so. Hmm, let me see what else we got here for this cap for this Capricorn. The Queen of Gabriel. This is the Queen of Wands. Charming, passionate, charming, brilliant, independent. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. So there could be a Queen of Wands involved in something. Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn. This could be you or, the, or there's a Aries, Leo, Sag involved. Some of you could be ignoring an Aries, Leo, Sag or Aries, Leo, Sag is trying to ignore you. Ace of Pentacles. There's that opportunity. Message. Ooh, we. Capricorn, why do I feel like someone could definitely be trying to they, someone could be trying to pretend like they don't see someone but they can't help it they can there is something about a message coming in here about a new opportunity or a new beginning someone is ignoring someone for sure for some of you not for everybody but someone is definitely getting ignored there could be an energy of someone ignoring someone two of swords invisible this is like i don't see you i don't hear you right <laughs> someone could definitely be ignoring someone here right someone could have someone blocked but I definitely feel like there is an energy where somebody is realizing that they're going to have to block something out or make some sort of type of decision because there's a new beginning at stake here. There's a new opportunity here. And there's definitely a message coming in about this. Hmm. I'm curious, Capricorn. I see the message. I see the opportunity coming in. I see either you're this Queen of Wands or a Queen of Wands is involved in something here, but there's definitely a Queen of Wands. I, let's see what the invisible energy is about for you, Capricorn. Let's see. This is definitely, this could be someone trying to ignore someone. This could be someone trying to not see something. Somebody could literally be wanting to go ghost or get little, right? Go ghost. Leave something alone. Leave, leave something completely out in the past here. And move in a different direction. Let's see what invisible is here for you, Capricorns. Why is invisible here for the Cappies? The devil. Capricorn, are you ignoring someone or are they ignoring you? But there you are. Someone is trying to ignore or block out some negative toxic shit, though. This could be codependency. This could be addiction. It could be something about abuse here. But look, there's that empress. There's an empress here. What's going on with her? Six of swords. There is an empress here. Someone is either trying to move away from a queen of wands here or listen 
Capricorn, either you're motivated to get the hell away from something and ignore something that you see as toxic or codependent, or you're trying to move on here with this Empress, with this Empress energy and the Six of Swords, or someone is leaving this Empress, right? Someone try, is trying to ignore or leave an Empress. There's the Four of Wands here. There is something here about a union here. Ooh, we. There's the Magician and the Eight of Cups. Somebody about to pull a rabbit out of their hat and they're about to walk away from something here. Oh, let's see what else I get more more I get on this invisible Capricorn. Mm -mm. I feel like someone could really want to send a message. Someone could be watching you. Someone could be, someone could be watching you and they want to reach out to you, Capricorn. Give me more for this. The invisible for Capricorn. Clarify invisible for me. Ten of Pentacles. I definitely feel like someone is being ignored in a house or a home. Someone could definitely be wanting to leave a toxic job and get another job here. But there's that page of wands. There's that opportunity for a new beginning. There could definitely be something dealing with children in this situation too. Children in a home. Mm. Yeah, two of wands. There is someone getting ready to make a plan to take some sort of action here. And someone's completely getting ready to block out or ignore something. I told you someone is having to make an individual decision about this. Okay, let's see what you don't see about the situation, Capricorn. Let's see. Wishing. The Six of Gabriel. So this is the Six of Wands. Congratulations. You've done a wonderful job. Time to move to the next project. Award, scholarships, and promotion. So someone is hoping for success. They're wishing for success. Someone could definitely be hoping to get someone's attention, right? Or get acknowledged. Someone could definitely be wishing that they would get acknowledged here because someone could be being ignored here, right? Some of you are going to get, get the car of your dreams or the job of your dreams or something like that. You could be, someone could be getting a promotion here. Like I said, it could literally be just a decision that, has, that hasn't been made yet that an individual has to make in order for something to move forward, for some new beginning to happen here. Let's see what else we got here, Capricorn. The hangman, you could be dealing with the Pisces. Journey, and there's that trip. There's that trip. I have two cards of trips or traveling. There's it, Some of you could definitely be dealing with a Cancerian, a Pisces, a fire sign. There's definitely an energy of one in victory and success. One in some sort of movement. So with the hangman, the hangman is stuck energy, right? But the hangman is only stuck until enlightenment comes in, right? I feel like somebody is wishing for some sort of success, wishing for some sort of acknowledgement. Somebody could even be wishing and hoping to make some sort of trip, tr uh, uh, travel or trip. But there's just something stuck here and it's in the hidden here. It, there, it, there could be enlightenment coming about this with the hangman though because the hangman is only stuck until the hangman gets enlightened. Definitely could be dealing with the Pisces though. Let's clarify the hangman's energy. Let's see what's stuck. What's kind of suspended in midair. This could simply be someone needing to make a decision that hasn't yet with the two of Michaels here individual. It could be literally just one individual making one decision it's going to change everything. I do see an incoming message coming in about this, though. Right? I do see it coming, and I do see a new opportunity happening here. Let's see what we get on this hangman energy for you, though, Cappies. If I get it right for you guys, please make sure you give me the like, comment, subscribe, and share. And again, if you're interested in booking me, my email information is provided in the description box below. Let's see what the hangman energy is about for you, Capricorns. Let's see what the hangman energy is. Clarify the energy of the hangman for Capricorns and what they don't see. The Nine of Wands. There's a wounded warrior. So there is some sort of battle. There's the Queen of Wands. Someone could definitely be look. Look, some of you are definitely battling out, battling, battling, battling it out <laughs> with the Aries, Leo, Sag, or possibly a Pisces here. There's justice here. Yeah. I yeah, it's getting feeling a little messy here. Some of you are definitely standing your ground. And you're, you're fighting some sort of good fight here. You are. You're standing your ground. You're, you're seeking justice in a situation. You could be dealing with Libra. Or there's someone who is going through some shit with a Queen of Wands here. Capricorn. Somebody is. there. I feel like there's some sort of fight for justice here. Strength. Yeah. There's some sort of fight for justice. The Ace of, the Ace of Swords and the Two of Swords. There is something about a decision that needs to be made here. Why is the hangman here? Give me more clarification for the hangman for what you don't see. Give me more. About the hangman for the Capricorns. Six of Swords. There's that energy of moving, traveling, getting the fuck. I'm telling you, there, there could definitely be something here about traveling or a trip. 
I have too much energy of that. The journey, the six of swords, the change, the sun. You could be dealing with the Leo. I feel like someone is just waiting on some sort of decision to be made or they're making up their mind about something. And once that's done, there's going to be movement here. Because someone sees something abundantly clear. Someone could just be waiting on some clarity on something here. Yep, the high response. Someone could just be waiting on a yes from a tour. So they're waiting on some clarity with a contract or, or a, a career. Yep, because there's that ace of pentacles. What did I tell you? Give me one more on the hangman. Give me one more on the hangman for what you don't see, Capricorn. Look, Ace of Pentacles. There's a there's definitely a new opportunity coming in. It's here twice. The Wheel of Fortune. You could be dealing with the uh Sagittarius, another earth sign, but there's something, there's there's some sort of destined new opportunity that's coming in here. And it could definitely be what work for some of you. Let's see what your outcome is here. The oath. There could be a new contract or a new commitment or some new promises made here, Capricorn. Let's see. The Ace of Gabriel. Okay, that is the Ace of Wands. So there is a, a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration, a chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. There's definitely something new getting ready to happen. Some of you are signing new contracts, new careers. This could definitely be new love. For some of you, you could have someone who's kind of crushing on you and kind of stuck on you and they're getting ready to come forward. Yeah, someone could be really attracted to you. They could have been keeping this to themselves. For some of you, this could be someone that you work with, for sure. Because there is an individual making a decision here. And once the decision is made, there's going to be communication about something new, a change, some sort of move here. I feel like right now, incoming, and it's invisible, you don't see this Capricorn, but there is an incoming message coming here. Someone could definitely have, like, I don't know, there could be a decision that someone has been trying to make that's kicking their ass with the hangman and the nine of wands here. But there's getting ready to be some sort of trip, travel, change, or move here. There's getting ready to be victory and success. It's in the hidden, what you don't see. There's an opportunity here. And then there's the ace of wands. What else we got here? The ten of wands. Yep, you could be definitely dealing with a fire sign, but there's a heavy, heavy burden. There's a new opportunity coming in, the ace of wands and the ten of wands. There's something new coming in that's going to allow some heavy burdens to be dropped, some sort of oppression to end. This is another card of moving, though, the ten of wands moving. And look, oh, oh, dun, 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 main male. Okay, well, there we go. We have a masculine energy here. Some of you could be signing a new contract with the with the with the masculine energy. Like some of you definitely could be like starting a new job. There could be a masculine energy signing a new contract here. There's something that's going on with the masculine energy here. There's a brand new beginning. I feel like there's going to be a promise made or something like it's either signing a contract or 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 making or making some sort of promise or some sort of oath. And then there's like a burden being dropped by that Capricorn. That's the outcome here. Let's see what we get on this though. Let's see what I can get on. Let's clarify. Let's clarify the man. Let's be messy. Let's see what's going on with this man here. Capricorn. Again, if I get it right, make sure you give me the like, comment, subscribe, share. If you're interested in booking me, email me. Clarify the energy of the main male for Capricorn. Clarify the energy of this main male for the outcome. Knight of Swords. It's going to be some sort of swift action or communication coming. Could be an air sign. Two of Swords. This man could be the man that's making the decision here. Or you could be waiting on a decision from, from this man. But there's that decision again. And it has something to do about building a foundation here. And I have soulmate energy. There is communication that's coming about it. I feel like this man is just thinking about this right now. Okay, give me more on this main male for the outcome. Some of you could have to be waiting on a masculine energy to give you some sort of decision, whether it's a boss or a business owner, landlord. Give me more. The Knight of Cups. I feel like there is going to be something that's going to go in your favor. The Knight of Wands. Look at all these lights. There's going to be a lot of communication coming in. There's going to be some decisions made. Something is going to go in your favor. Something's going to happen very quickly here with this man. Give me more. There he is, King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, the Magician. There's something that's manifesting. There's some new beginning manifesting here with this man. Give me one more for this main male for Capricorn's outcome. The Lovers. You could be dealing with the Gemini and the Empress. For some of you, <laughs> the Page of Swords. For some of you, you have a man that's keeping his eye out on you. He's having to make some sort of decision. Maybe it's just a decision to speak up. Some of you may have this man blocked here. But I do see, if this is not love, some of you could just be waiting on some sort of offer from a masculine energy. You have to put it where it goes. There's a there's a person here that's definitely an individual that's making a decision. They're getting ready to speak up. It's going to go in your favor, Capricorn. You have the Ace of Pentacles here. 
twice. You have the Ace of Wands here. There is getting ready to be a change and there's getting ready to be an opportunity and a new beginning. And even under this child is great fortune. So it is going to go in your favor however this is going. I feel like something is being looked into right now. So you don't have an answer yet from this man. Seven of Wands, King of Pentacles. You don't have an answer yet, but I do feel like it's coming. I see it. All right, Capricorns. I love you guys. I thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. If the messages resonate, make sure you give me the like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you guys are interested in booking me, please email me. Continue to take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. Take care of each other. Stay positive. And I'll bring you messages really soon, my beautifully abundant devils you. Bye, Capricorn.